Hi everyone, I'm diving deep into one of Blender's most powerful features today, the Subdivision Surface Modifier. Let's unlock the magic of creating smooth and detailed models with just a few clicks. First off, what exactly is the Subdivision Surface Modifier? Well, imagine it as a magic wand that smooths out your 3D models. When you apply this modifier to a mesh in Blender, it subdivides the mesh's polygons, creating a smoother surface without actually altering the original geometry. This is crucial for anyone looking to add detail without permanently changing the base mesh. Now, how does it work? The modifier uses a technique called catmull clark subdivision. This might sound complex, but it essentially averages the positions of a mesh's vertices and recalculates the geometry based on those averages. And the result? A beautifully smooth surface that makes your models look more professional and realistic. Uh, let's go through a step-by-step -step process. First, add a basic shape to your scene. I'll choose a cube for simplicity. With the cube selected, go to the Modifier panel and click Add Modifier. Choose Subdivision Surface. Instantly, you'll see the cube transform into a smoother, more rounded shape. By increasing the view and render values in the Modifier panel, you make the mesh even smoother. But here's a tip. While the Subdivision Modifier is fantastic for smoothing, it can also make your mesh lose its original form. To maintain some of the original shapes, use what we call edge loops. By adding extra loops near the edges, you can control the sharpness and retain more of the original geometry. But remember, the magic isn't just in applying the modifier, but in how you use it to enhance your design. Experiment with different levels of subdivision and watch your basic models transform into intricate, detailed works of art. And that's a wrap on the basics of the subdivision surface modifier in Blender. Use this tool wisely and you'll see just how much it can enhance your 3D modeling projects. Keep experimenting and happy blending. Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more awesome Blender tutorials. See you in the next video.